Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be dissecting Taylor Swift's new music video, Me. There are a bunch of Easter eggs in here and I have found every single one that I think there is. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Now, let's get to the action. All right, so the first one has to do with the group, the Dixie Chicks. If you look at the back wall when Taylor Swift is singing about the line, there's a lot of cool chicks out there, there's a picture frame and in it are the three ladies from the Dixie Chicks and they've actually already responded on Twitter to the Easter egg. So could there be a possible collab in the future? Right before the video premiered, Taylor got on a live video chat with some of her fans and she said that in this video, there will be a secret that she has been keeping for months and she wanted to know if her fans could guess what it is. And a lot of people are thinking that it is a new cat. This next one is kind of a throwback to the Look What You Made Me Do video as well. In that video, some fans noticed that there was an empty engagement ring box as well as the word no spelled out in jewelry. At the time, this would have been a reference to her ex Calvin Harris, but in this new one, Brendan Urie proposes with this gorgeous ring and she's not having it, she'd rather have the cat. And people think that this is reference to the fact that there's so many engagement rumors going on about her and Joe Alwyn right now. So she might be saying, one, we're not married, and two, we're not even engaged. In one of the grand scenes, you will see a neon sign in the back that's bright pink and says lover on it. And some people have thought that maybe this is a hint that one of the song's titles will be lover. So one of the more obvious references was that snake in the beginning, you know, with her reputation era, it was all about the snake because Kim Kardashian famously called her a snake when she had that whole battle with Kanye West. Um, and we're seeing a definite progression from that. You know, she's reached a metamorphosis. She's turning into a beautiful butterfly. She's moving on. It's more colorful. It's more vibrant. So that was a little on the nose, but still pretty. Some hardcore Taylor Swift fans might have noticed that Christmas tree in the opening scene in that apartment, and that is a reference to the fact that Taylor lived on a Christmas tree farm when she was younger. Obviously, we had to have her co-stars Meredith and Olivia there, her two cats, so if you didn't know that, those are Taylor's two cats. This one I thought was a nice touch. She's using the same stairs from Look What You Made Me Do, except this time, instead of sitting upon a throne at the very top, she's descended from the throne, and she's ready to do a fresh start. Fun little nod to one of the most memeable moments, is that a word? Memeable moments? From one of her videos was when she was like, the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Cause she's dead. In this video, she picks up the phone. So clearly the old Taylor is back and you can tell that by like the brighter colors, the bubbliness. And I'm really interested to see where this goes. Then we see Taylor survive the snake bite and she just has a bunch of flowy clouds and smoke around her and she's ready to live her best life. In the past, she really was upset about that whole snake title. It really got her down. But now, you know, she embraced it with the reputation era. And now I feel like she's just in this new kind of, I'm a new me. Like she's not even embracing it anymore. She's like, that's the past. We're looking at the future now. A very colorful Easter egg with the seven suitcases. Now she has six albums that she's already put out and this will be her seventh. And she also makes seven outfit changes in the music video. Now this is a blink and you'll miss it moment when Brendan is talking to her at the beginning of the scene. The clock in the back is 8.30. So some people are guessing that this might mean that her album is dropping on August 30th. Now, I don't know about you, but that whole spelling is fun line definitely made me kind of like pause and be like, okay, is this what we're doing now? But apparently it's a reference to the fact that Taylor Swift did a bunch of spelling bees when she was younger. So it was like a cool little moment from her childhood, I guess. And our last Easter egg, y'all, is Taylor has her cowboy boots back on, which might mean that there may be a little bit of a country feel to some of her new tracks. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found these were interesting. Hopefully some of them are ones that you didn't see on the first time. Um, and now maybe you can go back and see if you can find them now that you know what to look for. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe because I put new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Subscribe.